Welcome to Saving the Past, IMGD. I'm glad you could join me today. Well, folks, I had um, originally started a video here this morning, and um, it is in the process of, of downloading right now, but I had to go back in here and just make a new video because from the time I started that um, first video, Gold and silver were touching on recent support levels, but um, since then, silver had crashed. So I just figured I better do a new video and discuss what my thinking is right now. Um, I have up a gold chart here right now, and it looks like gold is, this is, um, 9.56 a.m. and it looks like gold is 14.63 which um, has dropped below recent support levels and looks like it's going to go down and test test this 14.59.23 that happened October 1st. Uh, for me, let's see, today we did have a low of 1461, so we're extremely close to this. So I am going to be sitting out here and watching because if it closes below this 1459, we're going to go down and start testing some of these lower levels. August 1st, we had a low of 1400. But let's just take a look at the silver chart here real quick because this one here did crash pretty bad. Um, <clears throat> when I was doing my first video, it was touching on uh, yesterday's low, and it has just completely, the bottom's fallen out of it. Uh, it today, so far, we've had, right now, it is 1704, and we had a low of 1696, which is... Touching on these lows we had here back the uh, last of September and the 1st of October, which was 1689 on October 1st, and 1692 on September 30th. What I'm going to be watching for here today, I, I had planned on doing some buying today, and I think I'm going to have to sit out and watch this for uh, another couple of days. Earlier this morning, I had gone in and checked the stock market, and it was up, and I expected that gold and silver was going to be taking a dip. I haven't had a chance to go back and see how much the stock market's up, but I'm going to have to assume with the type of a drop that silver has taken that um, it must be up pretty big. By the end of the day, it's probably going to, if it is up really big, the stock market's up big, it's probably going to uh, retreat a little bit. And tomorrow it could retreat a little bit more, but um, I am going to have to sit this out. Silver is starting to try and recover a little bit here, but unless I see a close up above uh, these levels here of the 1689 range, uh, it is not the time for me to be buying because the next drop down is going to put us down at uh, 1592. Actually, no, we've got one here at 1654 will be probably the next support level. Uh, you know, some of the things I had discussed in the first video, and I guess I'll try and recap on those again here, is that um, some of the things that is driving this market is the good economic news that just keeps on coming out. And this morning, jobless claims were reported that they had dropped by 8,000 this past week to two, or, yeah, 211,000. They had a revised figure expecting 219,000. Um, so that is still showing that they're finding ways to prop this market up. Um, I think that um, probably until the next election comes around, we are going to see them doing everything they possibly can to keep the markets looking at least fairly strong. So until that next election, we're not going to really see any real major moves, I don't believe, in gold and silver. 
I think we're going to have some nice moves up and some nice moves down, but uh, the large increases that people had been predicting, I do not see happening over the next 12 months. Uh, I think we're going to probably go back and retest sometime the highs we had this year, but um, breaking out of those, I just don't see that happening this year, at least not over the next 12 months. But there are going to be some good buying opportunities, and we are getting here very close to a buying opportunity. As I said, I was intending to buy today, um, but I think I'm going to have to sit this one out for a little while longer and watch and see what's going to happen. It does look like um, China is agreeing to um, work with the U.S. on some of, uh, of removing some of the tariffs between the two of them, but nothing has been signed yet. And until we see that um, happening, uh, there's still going to be uncertainty in the market. Uh, but at, in any case, as I say, I had done this one video. I had... Uh, thought that maybe we were going to uh, stay along those support levels we were at, but this has just completely crashed. So once again, I tell you, be careful here because we are at dangerous levels right now for us taking another big drop down. Unless, of course, we get this to, again, close above these lows that we're having today and then test it maybe another day or two. But again, folks, um, the only thing I can say to you right now is this is a dangerous market. So just sit out and watch it. And I do hope you all listened to what I had said last week about paying attention to that economic information that was coming out and how last week was not the week to buy. And this is actually showing its ugly head today. So be safe out there. Um, and the only thing I can say is, is that... Um, I think we've got better days ahead, but we're going to have a little bit more pain here in the near future. In any case, folks, I hope that all your investing strategies turn out to be profitable for you. And until next time, happy hunting and happy stacking. This is GD. Have a great day.